Hey YouTube, as I mentioned before, I took another look at electrical arcs passing through wood. After reviewing the footage, I saw a couple of interesting things that I never saw before on my previous camera. First is that the arcs are very asymmetrical. Right when the power is applied, the behavior of the current changes dramatically every half cycle. On one half of the cycle, the arc is very nebulous and has no sharp or distinct points. On the other half cycle, fingers of current appear to dance across the wood, looking for paths of least resistance. This asymmetry is because the polarity of the current changes every half cycle. During one half, electrons are jumping off of the screw and into the surrounding wood, on its way to the other side. For the other half of the cycle, electrons are jumping out of the wood and being collected by the screw on their way back to the transformer. The second interesting thing is that there is some complex chemistry taking place in and around the arcs as they pass over and through the surface of the wood. Electric current releases energy in the form of heat whenever it passes through a conductor. In this case, both the air and the wood are not very good conductors, so that an excessive amount of heat is released. All this heat causes some of the wood to vaporize, and in the areas where the arcs are hottest, this vapor will combine with oxygen in the air and burn. What's interesting is not all of these vapors burn completely. Some of them produce the soot, which floats away in the air and others produce fine particles and filaments which get caught up in the moving air. Some of them even collect into branching structures which wave in the air currents and incandesce in the extreme heat of the electrical arcs. These filaments were a surprise, as it is not very often that materials can be both strong and flexible in such extreme conditions. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.